excited about getting first win of the year. Um, you know, this is a group that I, I, I really like. I think they have a ton of potential. Um, but as you see, we, we didn't finish real well today. And you see some youthful mo moments. And youthful, not necessarily in the age of our guys, but we have a lot of newcomers, guys who haven't played for us. And so being able to work both the offensive and the defensive end together is something that we got to continue to grow. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we start every day, you know, saying we oh, I want to be better today than I was yesterday. And I felt like I saw, you know, more plays today that look like Fort Wayne basketball. And, you know, on the offensive end, I thought the ball swung better. I thought we played with better pace, um, you know, and, 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 and had some more coachable moments. And I talked to guys after the game, obviously, when you don't finish the game the right way in terms of the, the scoring. And I, I, I played everybody. Um, I came in with a goal of having minutes that I was going to get everybody certain minutes, knowing that, you know, it was quick turnaround, uh, knowing that in – Two days, we're going to play SEMO on the road. And I stuck to my pattern, you know, with the goal of, hey, it's not about, you know, necessarily how you, how you win the game, but it's about getting all these guys experience because we need experience playing together. We need coachable moments. And, you know, I'm pleased, but also there's some areas where these guys, we've, uh, we, I've gotten their attention um, to where, hey, they, they want to be good. We got the talent. Um, and now we got to go to work as we get better every day. I give a lot of respect to, to, to Manchester. I mean, they, they shot the lights out of the ball, and they exposed some weakness. We've struggled to defend the arc this year. It's an area that we got to continue to get better at, running guys off the arc. And, I mean, it's no surprise that Jared Andis can shoot the basketball. I mean, that was on the scout, although the scout was, you know, literally this, this morning at our shoot-around, at our turnaround. But, but they watched enough video, and they know when we say, hey, you have to run a guy off a line, make him do something else in our scout, like what we mean by that. Um, and, and we weren't good enough on that. But, you know, that was one of the exposure type things. But in terms of the just the ball movement, um, I thought was good. And then we had some really good penetration, draw a crowd, manage a crowd, kick out type play. Um, you know, obviously we got the win, so that's the most important thing. But um, I just liked our, our process. You know, we, we um, pushed the ball and um, made mature plays and, you know, found guys. Made, we were playing really unselfish and, you know, we just hit shots and won the game. We try and just have the same mentality and just focus on getting better in games like these. And I mean, every game too. Like the Manchester was a good team. Obviously, I don't know how many threes they hit, but they hit a lot more than we would have liked.